You said you're you have a temper. Yeah, I have a bit of a temper. So I don't think I'm patient enough to handle several men. Okay, so what's the most of amount of guys that you've dated at one time? One. Oh, just one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and same with hooking up, just one. Yeah. Okay. Um, how does your temper manifest itself? Um, it's more like, let's say. When things don't go my way, I'm kind of like a my way or highway kind of person. My way or the highway. <laughs> yeah. So it doesn't, it doesn't really translate well. If I was dating several guys, that would mean I would need to be patient with a lot of people. So I'd rather just have one person. Can you give us an, one of the most notable examples from your dating life of a time where it was your way or the highway? Um... I think I had like a big argument once where the guy didn't want to take shoes off in front of the house. So when you go okay. into house, you have to take the shoe off at that specific spot, right? And because sometimes he would just forget his shit, so he would go back on the shoe, and I'll be, I would be like really annoyed because of that because he needed to take his shoe off to take whatever he needed to take. So yes, it became a big argument. Well, it was your him, house, right? Huh? Was it your house? Yes. And you had a rule, which was, I don't like my shoes. Yes. Well, I, I, I mean, I think you're, you're reasonable for, I mean, if that's your, your place and you're like, hey, I want people to take their shoes off, then. I guess some people, I think, I, I think with most guys, they don't really care so much. Like if they're just like, oh, whatever, I'm just going to take the keys or I'm just going to take something that I forgot. It's just a small thing. I'm just walking three steps. But. Oh, yeah. oh, so okay. It wasn't just he was just coming over. Yeah, yeah. It was like he took them off already, and then no, he, he had was, to go get something. Yeah, or? he forgot something. So I rather he would take them off, but then I guess it wasn't a big deal to him. But to me, it's a big deal. So I got really mad this one time, and I threw his shoes out. Were you like head over heels in love with this dude? Um, I guess maybe if I like the guy more, I do tend to be more temperamental. Right, because girls don't dump men they're in love with. That's the reality. So they you were, what? They don't dump guys they're in love with. It's just, I disagree. It is what it is. Okay, so you have a temper. Have you ever hit a guy? Like hit a guy? Yeah, have you ever hit a guy? Um, I think I've yelled somewhat abusive things at a guy, mm -hmm. but and then maybe I would push the guy away, but I don't think I've, like, I guess hit hit a guy. So you have a temper. Do you uh, do you raise your voice with your partners? I do raise my voice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And is it is it like they just piss you off? They just annoy you, or like you just it's a bad habit, or what? Um, I think it's just when something pisses me off. It's it's just always there, you know. It's, it's okay. Always gonna be there. Sure. Are you, are you working point, on that? Will... Are you working on your temper? Because I think for both, both men and women, people don't like to date people with a temper. For, I think for both in genders. my case, I, don't, I am trying to work on it, but then it's not super working. So I'd rather find someone that is more Accepts passive, your, yes, more so passive you, with me. Well, I'm not sure if that's a necessarily the most productive solution to that, but... Um, so you prefer more demure, submissive men? Yes. Okay, because they will tolerate your abuse. I don't think abuse is the right word. Like, if you do it in the way I want it, then I wouldn't abuse you, you know? But it's just most men don't. Don't do what? <laughs> like, don't take off their shoes when they go in the house. Well, I don't think you're wrong for being upset if you have a boundary. And, I mean, I have this rule at my house. Like I, I ask people to take off their shoes if they're coming into my, my house, but um, like they fight you on it? No, like it's just that's on when you catch someone doing it, even though you've told them several times not to, or when you told them several times to, hey, when you finish cook, cooking, make sure to wash the dishes and stuff. Oh, the men cook for you? No, 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 like I cook. Oh, you cook, yeah. but they wash the dishes. Yeah, so like I would go like, hey, maybe you want to wash the dishes. They say, okay, but then they don't do it until the next day. And I'm like, maybe you should do it now. And they're like, later, later, later. And then later, I'll lose my temper. Okay. Do the men live with you? Do they live with you? Yeah, I had a relationship before. Okay. Well, I don't think you're wrong about the whole... How, I mean, if it's your house, it's kind of your rules, right? So I don't think you're wrong there, but uh, I think like... <laughs> 
she has the pants on. So. But I, I mean, I think if the the guys are not respect, like they don't even have the consciousness to respect a kind of very simple basic rule, I'd say, are they fucking brain dead? Like it's not that fucking hard to remember to take your shoes off. But I mean, perhaps the way in which you're dealing with it, dealing with it might perhaps could be adjusted. Um, but uh, yeah, to me, I mean, that's just kind of silly that if you've if it's your place and you have this because I do the same thing I ask people to yeah. take their shoes off so I, I kind of get it um, it's a cleanliness thing you know you don't want to drag all that dirt into the house whatever but okay so um, have you ever Sparta the dude into a uh, like a, a water pit this is Sparta. like here's what you do <laughs> like let's say the guy's about to come into the, the room right into okay. the house and he has his uh, he has his shoes on and you're like, no, no, no. Like you need to fucking just drop kick him in the fucking chest. Okay, no, no, no. Here, can you actually that. stand up and demonstrate like a kick for us? Oh, you want me to demonstrate? <laughs> yeah, like right, right here. I, I'm scared. The I table. hit the TV. Yeah, well, don't hit the TV, but oh. <laughs> she has a temper, you know. All right, show us your, show us your. Wait, hold on. I, um, I need it. I think they can't see. You gotta sc scoot that chair back. Wait. No, 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 scoot, scoot, scoot the chair. <laughs> oh, why am I doing this? Okay. Oh, she stands right here. Like this? You can see yeah. It. Like, maybe I see yeah, you got to scoot back. Keep walking back. All right. Sh yeah, yeah, yeah. Show us your, show us your kick. Show us your, your, your kick. Wow, that was terrible. No, like, I don't think you can see me, though. Wait, here. Okay. What, I'll tell you when. Once, once this sound stops, do it. This is Sparta! Wow, that was terrible. Okay, you can sit down. Go ahead. It was good. I think you should try that though. The next time a guy doesn't want to take put his uh, take his shoes off. Okay, so um, we were going around the table. Uh, it, it was most amount of guys you've dated at one time. Go ahead. One. What about you? Uh, four. And how many? How many of them were you sleeping with? Two. Sleeping with two, four. Okay. One. And then you said seven to eight, sleeping with three. Mm -hmm. And then what about you guys? Uh, how many guys were you? No, I'm kidding. Um, how many girls have you been dating at the most? Uh, six at a time, probably. And, and how many were you sleeping with? All listen, of them. Listen, gentlemen, never kiss and tell. But, okay. Yeah, probably around that number as well. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, okay, so we did the 10 thing. I just need to make sure we... Okay. Um, here's the thing. When you... Last thing on the whole 10 thing. So there's a difference between being confident and thinking that you're on par with some of the most attractive women in the world. For example, I give myself a six, maybe a 6.9 on a good day. If I were to think I was a 10, that would mean I'd have to intellectualize that I am as attractive as Brad Pitt was in his youth. Like that, to me, that's just like, that would be a ridiculous comparison. Yeah, but if you feel that way and you're that confident, but it's not about how you feel. So, them, so right? Zent, I think it was Zentians who chatted it. Oh, here we go. Zentians super chatted forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. M's temper can't handle many guys because if things don't go her way, she throws a tantrum. Sounds like many modern women who are petulant children. And be honest, you and the other masculine three three or four 